you doing? Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck, is it? We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Oh, big dog. Go, go, go. I should have on Stop laughing in the back of my video then. All they're going to hear is. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Sounds like it. <laughs> my laugh actually just come out of it like that sometimes, doesn't it? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shut up. Hi guys, I hope you guys are all okay. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is so exciting because it's all it's about exciting. it's exciting. It's all about you, isn't it, baby? Because in six days you are going to be two. You say two? She, she's too busy with a mouthful of crackers, fair enough. <laughs> you guys wanted to see what we're doing for her birthday. You wanted to see like themes, what presents we got her. So I thought I'd just put it all into one video and because I'm dedicating today to actually just sort it all out basically, I thought this would be a good time to film it. So the other thing you guys asked for were party ideas for toddlers, which um, I'm actually gonna put over on my Instagram. So once this video is uploaded, if you head on over to my Instagram in the highlights, I will leave just party ideas for toddlers for you guys. I can understand why you guys asked because it took us a really long time to work out what we wanted to do for Lila especially on a budget as well so I will just try and leave as many like ideas that I can think of over on my Instagram so go and check that out after you've watched this video we're trying to rack our brain of what we could do for Lila and I think it's really important that you think about what your child loves to do just in general in day-to-day -day life and by far me and Rick both agreed dancing is Lila Rose's thing she gets it from her mum so with our wedding we definitely noticed that Lila Rose was just on the dance floor the whole night she absolutely loved it she outdanced most of the adults she was literally still going at 11 p.m or so and that was only on one nap so we definitely wanted to like recreate that and there was no way we were going to be able to do that in this house so we were really lucky that we managed to find a venue which well i say a venue a restaurant that has a like a small venue room with a tiny dance floor luckily it's pretty small so it's a perfect size for just the family but it has a dance floor it has disco lights and it also has a pa system so you can like hook your phone up or your laptop up and play a playlist and it actually turns out that hiring out the actual room for the whole afternoon and all the way through to the evening was free as long as you obviously order from their like food and their drinks from the bar which is something that we thought we could tie in anyway so we got really lucky that we managed to get the actual venue for free we're actually going to do a nice sit down meal and then obviously the disco as well that's for adults and children and the only other thing i was trying to think of was how to actually entertain the kids especially like after the meal so i picked up this one i picked up this one from lidl and this was 35 pound they also had it in a uh was it a red yellow and blue color so you obviously can get it in a less girly pink color but we're gonna go pink all the way, aren't we? Because we like pink, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also got a basketball hoop here with like a mini inflatable ball that comes with it. And then on the side, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like a ring toss. So there's like two like inflatable sticks and then it comes with four, three or four inflatable rings, which I thought were really cute colors as well. We've got six days to go and we haven't actually tried blowing it up yet. So I thought I would do that on this vlog. For entertainment, that's gonna be the main thing, hopefully. We're gonna take a few toys as well. Well, but Nyla Rose just loves dancing, don't you? So Okay, so Daddy's back and he's just taken Nyla Rose upstairs so that I can just show you quickly before we go out the bits that I've picked up. So if you've seen me on Instagram, then you'll know that I've already hinted that we've got a Minnie Mouse theme going on. So obviously because we're on a budget, I am not going to go overboard, but I did pick up some really cute bits. I got all of this from Amazon. I will leave the links down in the description. So I've got two packs of napkins. These are going to go on the tables and also in the party bags for like the slices of cake i then picked up party bags as well these are packs of six so i've taken one out because i'm going to take it shopping i just want to make sure that i can fit everything in that i do buy i really really love the bunting i think this is so cute i don't know if it's because of like the more green on the back but i think she looks really sweet there we only got one lot of bunting just because i'll show you that we've got some other banners and balloons and bits and bobs and then the only other thing that i got in this whole like set was a tablecloth so as you can see there that's what the tablecloth will look like when it's actually stretched
stretched out and I'm thinking of just using that one on the table with her cake and like her presents and then I was thinking maybe of getting some normal tablecloths that are like this hot pink colour and putting those over the rest of the table so that it's all kind of ties in but I'm just going to leave that till last minute because I am on a budget as long as there's one table all decorated with Minnie Mouse then it's not too much of a problem but if there's money left over in the budget then yeah I will dress up the other tables in this hot pink kind of colour. This one is going to be her birthday card that she gets from mummy and daddy. It's actually really hard to find cards and merchandise that is Minnie Mouse so yeah I ordered this one from Moon Pig which I'm really pleased with and yeah it just says happy birthday inside so yeah she's gonna see that on her birthday morning then I just got some balloons these were from Amazon as well as you can see I'm trying to stick to this quite dark color like as ridiculous as it sounds I want it all to like match in so we've got like that dark color and then obviously bringing out the other kinds of pinks as well so I got these ones from Amazon now these are like nine foot long for like one pound fifty I'll leave them linked down below but now I see them I'm a little bit gutted that they don't really match the color scheme so I'm gonna have a look in a minute in Asda to see if there's any banners that will actually go a bit better with the colour scheme like that's just me being a bit too picky but I think I'll probably just sell these on or keep them for like my birthday or something. So that's all the Minnie Mouse bits that I collected and we are literally going to go head into town now to get the party bag fillers. The other thing for decorations that we're going to do the day before Lila's birthday is go and get some helium balloons. I want there to be some helium balloons here when she wakes up but specifically for her actual party we saw a really really good Minnie Mouse one that almost matched this theme actually and we saw it in Poundland and I think that was only like £2 to £2.50 which is pretty good for a helium balloon so we're going to pick those up and get them inflated and just decorate the um, venue with like lots of helium balloons and obviously these balloons to match as well so right I'm going to go and get Daddy and Lila Rose from upstairs and we are going to head out now. Nobody's indicating does my nothing So we have a full bouncy castle. This is the only bit that me and Rick can't work out what's going on. We can't see like a hole or hear a hole, but it's like not inflating enough. So it's kind of like saggy. <laughs> But the rest of it is literally awesome and it's actually a really good size. We were worried that this was going to be massive but no I definitely think it's a good size. You can see this is like the ring toss side so it's not too high so even the little ones can try it as well. You could get the ball for mummy please. She's already worked out how to get in which is good. It means her little friends will be old too. You see the ball? Oh my goodness you look so cute in there. Oh, ta, thank you. Thank you, baby. Right, this is my favourite bit because I get to show you all the little bits that I've just gone and collected and then I'm going to show you her presents, which I've been dying to show you guys. So, first of all, I'm going to do party bags and I think while I've got it all out in front of me, I am actually going to like start actually putting the party bags together so first of all like i said with the banners i did pick up two spare banners just because i think that this kind of goes with the color a little bit better than the deep red i don't know we've got extra banners anyway if we want to use them so i thought i'd pick those up we had a lot of fillers in the party section so luckily i got most of it in asda and there was only one thing that i had to pop to poundland for this big pack this was three pound i feel like this is going to bulk up the majority of the party bag now i have to be really careful because it does say zero to three but i was just thinking like what would i supervise lila rose with what would be like appropriate for her i oh, know she's gonna love these oh my god 
they're amazing so they're all girls coming apart from two older boys i can't remember if i said that so each little girl is going to get a pair of sunglasses i know lila rose is going to love that they all get a wand each which is really lovely some of these things are just inappropriate so i will be taking them out so they've got these really cool glitter balls which i just think is way too small it's definitely a choking hazard so i think i will probably pop that in the eldest girl who is over three her party bag and then i'll also pop one in each of the elder boys as well they've got these random little i thought that was gonna be a whistle but it's not i don't know what that's supposed to be but i'm not having that in lila rose's mouth what lila rose will love out of this pack though is these little combs so each girl's gonna get a little comb which they can obviously use for their dollies lila will probably use it for her dollies or on herself so yeah i've got to kind of be careful with what i'm using from that but for three pound it was so much cheaper to buy it in bulk and then just take out what i don't need from it picked up two packs of these and i just know these are going to be a hit especially with the older boys as well still from asda i picked up a pack of eight of these little reading books this was all in the party section i literally just opened it up to have a little look it is so cute this is something that i know lila rose would love so her cousins will love that so it's just a little storybook to go in again another pack of eight a lot of these are packs of eight we got some coloring books which i was hoping to find little coloring pencils in asda but i actually didn't luckily i'll show you in a minute i found them in poundland but yeah they all get a coloring book each then when we popped in poundland i did get those coloring pencils so there's just six packs in there and those were a pound so i'm going to pop one in each and the eldest boy he won't do coloring anyway so that actually worked out quite nicely and then i saw this in poundland how cute is this so this i'm pretty certain this was a pound i know you have to be careful in poundland but yeah this just ties it all in so all of her presents are going to be wrapped in minnie mouse and mickey mouse i'm hoping three meters is long enough let's hope so and for the older boys party bags i just picked up a couple bits that are suited to them so um the eldest boy he absolutely loves Fortnite, so i picked that one up it's just a little key ring and then because they are two brothers i just made sure that they wouldn't have any arguing so i just got them two little fidget popper bracelets yeah bracelets and these were just a pound each so then lastly this was just something that i thought i'd add in as an extra i know they obviously get cake but i just picked up from asda a load of little mini chocolate bars which i'm going to put one in each and for the older boys i've just picked up a double dip for the eldest and some drumsticks for the younger one as well so yeah that's all the party bag stuff i'm hoping this all fits in it looks like it should do but i'm literally going to get on and see if i can put these all together and show you afterwards and then we move on to presents. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this, and I wanna tell you straight just like it is. You're watching me like you want me. are all done and i forgot to show you guys but on each bag it actually has like a little place where you can put their names so i just named them all and then went on through them as you go i've got a few bits left over so i think i might keep these bits for myself comb my hair wave my wand oh don't forget the lips as well actually hang on so let's show you the best bit now what we got lila rose for her birthday so first things first is big main present and that is this one we got this one actually back in november when we got lila rose's um mini mouse because it was on the 2 for 20 so we thought we'd pick this one up because we've yet to see another scooter that is from two plus so i'm hoping she'll enjoy this one as you can see it's a little unicorn scooter and they also had these in boy versions as well once we had bought it it actually went down to seven pound on its own in the cell but never mind i'm so glad that we got it and i'm looking forward to her trying that one out again from b&m we picked up this one because we were trying to find a cleaning trolley but actually when i saw this i thought this was so much better because we've got no room in our house for another like trolley thing that she can push around so i thought she could just carry this round with her when i do my cleaning as well because she actually does that like 
I'm trying to promote cleaning here, but she actually does it herself. She absolutely loves picking up a dustpan and a brush, so love this. I love the fact that it's got a spray bottle. I think that just makes it. I think it's so cool. So I think she's really going to enjoy the dustpan and brush, but yeah, I feel like this is so much easier to just grab it and walk around with it and also to store away as well rather than having a big cleaning trolley. So it kind of worked out for us. Then I picked up some bits from Poundland. Now I saw another YouTuber, Mothering Happily, who I absolutely love. She bought this one for her daughter. So this was in Poundland, which I thought it was five pound and I got to the till and they, it scanned through as two quid so I was like bargain and it's just one of those road mats and it says 18 months plus so it's obviously a cheap version and you can get like the proper carpet ones but for two quid I am really really excited about this and of course I could not go and get that without picking up some cars so I picked up these ones these are definitely going to be supervised I think again these were one pound in pound land but they have something like these ones in her baby class and she just absolutely loves them because they're pullback ones so I thought I'd pick those ones up they actually fit really nicely on the road as well so I think she's going to enjoy those I picked these ones up from Asda as well so I think these ones were only a couple of pounds so that was quite good and these were 12 months plus so I know that she's definitely going to be safe with those ones and then the only other couple bits we got were some books so I picked this one up for 99p in Card Factory I was looking in the works and it actually ended up being cheaper in Card Factory to just pick some up they've got a really good section actually of really lovely books for 99p and from poundland i thought i would pick up the rest of the hey dougie set so we've got all of the rest of them we've got betty we've got roly but we've yet to have happy and tag so and actually these are the two that she doesn't remember the names of that well so maybe that's why because she doesn't actually have the books and she hasn't been taught them i want to say they're one pound each but they were actually two for a pound when you got to the till so it actually worked out well to buy two but yeah so that is all her little bits that we got for her birthday it's definitely definitely rained in this year and I just think that's purely because we've just had Christmas and there is just no point buying more toys when she's still playing with the toys from Christmas and on top of that family and friends will be buying her new stuff as well as you can also tell we haven't got her any clothes for her birthday because I'm hoping in a couple months I can do a proper bulk shop of all of her two to three clothes I'm actually going to leave this video right here I hope you guys enjoyed this one I feel like it was a very mismatched vlog. I feel like vlogging is just something that I really need to get back into doing because I never really did a lot of it and it's a lot more awkward than me sitting in front of the camera and like doing my helpful tip videos. <laughs> but if you like it then please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It really does help to support my channel so I really appreciate any support that I get. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!